welcome back to the 1999 U.S. National Wrestling Championship from Las Vegas, Nevada. Men wrestling now in Greco-Roman style at 128 pounds, just beginning the second period of action. Dennis Hall in the red, taking on James Grunewald in the blue. It is a rematch many, many times over of the last two national title matches. Dennis Hall is a seven-time U.S. national champion. He has a three-to-nothing lead over Grunewald right now. Lon McCarran along with Jim Shear, again joined by Kendall Cross. Kendall, before we go much further, folks, don't see a lot of Greco on television. Explain the basic differences between Greco and freestyle. Well, the largest difference is you can't attack the legs. Uh, these two gentlemen are fighting upper body, and that's all they're allowed to do is to attack upper body. They're looking for throws. They're looking for arm spins, uh, front headlocks, positions where they're not attacking the legs at all. But a huge three-point throw at the beginning of that period by Dennis Hall. And you saw something that's new this year. They went into what's called the clinch. There's no score in the first period. They start the second period in a clinch. Both wrestlers are locked up upper body. And if you unlock your hands, your opponent gets a point. But uh, Dennis Hall got the throw, and he just gets a gut wrench here. You saw the turn. They had Grunewald back to the mat. Doesn't need to be much, just a flash. And so suddenly is it a 5 to nothing lead, all coming in the second period for Dennis Hall. You know, in a match like this, you have five points. Uh, that, is a, that is a very large lead, especially when you get two very equal opponents in a Greco-Roman match, because it is very hard to gain position and get a score, get a point on the board. So five points, that would be the equivalent to about four touchdowns ahead in football. I'm curious, Kendall, that we talked, Grunwald and Hall have, have been wrestling each other since, uh, I think, a junior high, perhaps even, even earlier. Never has he been able to, to break through, except once last year, Grunewald to beat Hall in, in the 98 trials. What happens to the mindset of a guy who has not beaten an opponent? Well, I mean, it can go two ways. Uh, you know, one person might take it uh, in, in a direction to motivate them. Uh, another person might take it to where it, it kind of hurts them, it brings them down, it, it, they're not able to recover from it. You know, I'm, I'm, I like to think that uh, Grunewald is, is the one who it motivates him to, to come back and to come and have a chance against him. And I think it looks that way. You know, Grunewald has beaten him now, he beat him last year, and so now he knows he can do it. Whether he does do it, you know, we'll see. But uh, he's definitely got his hands full and he believes he can. Under a minute now to go. In this matchup, men's Greco-Roman, 128 pounds. Dennis Hall, in the red and the black, has a 5 to nothing lead on James Grunewald. Yeah, 5 nothing, as Kendall mentioned, is almost an insurmountable lead. But last year, Jim Grunewald had a 5 nothing lead on Dennis Hall, and Dennis scored 5 right toward the end of the match in the last few seconds and was able to come back and win. So we'll see if Jim can do that this year. Dennis Hall has had many, many roads here to the finals many decisions he's had actually a pen a disqualification a technical fall and a decision all in victory into the finals two tech falls and a decision for Grunewald to work his way here to the championship match now I really feel Grunewald he, he's a, uh, a product of the resident program at the uh, United States Olympic Training Center and uh, I really believe that program has brought him to where he is and you know, it shows in a lot of the Greco athletes. They've had a program there now for several years, and they're really starting to come on on the international scene. We're starting to have world champions. We're on the verge of having Olympic champions there. Uh, hopefully, Dennis could possibly be the next one. They had a disappointing uh, loss at the last Olympics after winning the world title the year before. So hopefully, he'll be in a situation where he can win. And there are some face-to-face -face words as Dennis Hall does complete his victory over James Grunewald by a 5 to nothing score. And some nasty words said at the end between the two friends. I think they may have cleared it up. But a scene that has been repeated now eight times, Dennis Hall is again national champion here at 128 pounds. No scoring through the first three minutes and then finally five points in the second three minutes to come through with his shutout win over his longtime nemesis and partner James Grunewald. Here, after it was three to nothing, Dennis Hall had hold of Grunewald. There, the final two points made it five to nothing. Our thanks to Kendall Cross for joining us. Right now, our winner, Dennis Hall, is with Jim Shear.
you, uh, a little heated there, little words at the end of the match. Yeah, he, you know, we're rushing, and he's coming at me, and he expects me not to do anything back. Too bad. You know, take what you give. That's the way I look at it. Congratulations on a nice win. Thanks, Jim. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, so Dennis Hall, who has blown away many an opponent here at the Nationals and elsewhere around the world, well, blows a kiss to the fans here. Congratulations to him. Back with more from Las Vegas.